Yo, what is up everybody? I'm Mr. Mez and welcome back to another video. Today guys, I'm gonna be ranking every single plane in Roblox War Tycoon. So without further ado, let's get straight into the video. All right, so in last place, I don't think this should come to a surprise for no one. It's the P-51 Mustang. Now the P-51 is just all around a bad plane. It doesn't even have any flares. So if anything has a homing missile, you're basically done for. And the handling is about a mouse tank in the sky. It handles like a truck. It is absolutely horrible. So in second last, it's gonna be the Spitfire. And I don't think this should really come to a surprise for any one. It's not really a great plane either. It comes equipped with two 20 millimeter cannons and four 0.303 Browning machine guns. It's basically like a better version of the P-51 Mustang and there's not really much else to it. All right, so the next spot, it's going to be the Stuka. Now, the only reason I'm putting the Stuka in the third spot is because it has the bomb. If it didn't have this bomb, it'd probably be in dead last, but the machine guns also do pretty good damage, but the bomb can one-shot tanks, which is absolutely insane. All right, now coming in the next spot, it's going to be the F-4 Phantom. Now, the F-4 Phantom is literally the definition of mid i kind of forgot it existed honestly it's not really the greatest and i barely touch it it comes equipped with two lock-on missiles and i mean that's all right but after you fire those you're kind of screwed also the plane design is pretty goofy and it's really hard to see stuff on your screen because the wings like curl up and the tail is so big now in the four spot it's going to be the a10 warthog and i know a lot of people love the a10 warthog and think it should be higher but let me explain my thought process behind this the a10 warthog is only equipped with two air only lock-on missiles so after you fire those in air to air combat you're probably going to get destroyed by like an f4 phantom or just like a mig in general however it is still a very good plane coming equipped with a 30 millimeter gatling gun and four bombs all right so in the third spot it's going to be the mig 29 fulcrum now i don't think this really comes to a surprise for anybody the mig 29 is a pretty good fighter jet it's just kind of basic only coming equipped with uh the 30 millimeter cannon and the six air only lock on missiles but don't get me wrong it is still a very strong and good plane now in the second spot it's going to be the f14 tomcat the F-14 Tomcat is definitely one of my favorite vehicles in the game right now, and it is definitely the best free-to-play plane in the game. It comes equipped with four lock-on missiles and the 20mm cannon. It's just a great plane all around, and I would definitely recommend everybody to unlock it. Alright, so coming in the first spot, probably a surprise to absolutely no one, it's going to be the F-35. Now the F-35 is insanely overpowered, it's probably the best vehicle in the game right now, coming equipped with the cannons, the 6 lock-on missiles, the 4 bombs, and the VTOL. The VTOL feature basically means you can hover in the air in your stationary machine gun. It's absolutely insane, I love this vehicle so much, but it is very expensive, coming in at over $20 in Robux. So do you think it's worth it? Let me know down in the comments below. And yeah guys, that's gonna do it for today's video, I'd really really appreciate it if you hit that like button and subscribe as I'm trying to hit 4,000 subscribers by the end of February. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.